It's not what I say, it's what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Okay, so let's jump into this first week initial review um, of this lemon hair, pink lemon hair. Um, that everybody's pretty much seen from TikTok. I saw it on TikTok and the girlies were raving about it at first. And then as of lately, I've seen a lot of people talk down on it and just say that it was overhyped. So I was just kind of conflicted on if I really wanted to get this hair or not. And I just didn't want to pay that much money for beauty supply hair if it wasn't gonna give what it was supposed to give. I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it out, we're gonna try it out. It was enough people that said that they liked it. So we're gonna just bite the bullet and we're gonna try it out for the girlies that are on the edge like I was. They are so hard to find in Houston. I stay in Houston and majority of the beauty supplies do not carry this hair. Um, I made the mistake of going to multiple beauty supplies and I realized like I was wasting my time so I even called multiple beauty supplies and multiple multiple said that they did not carry this hair there was a new beauty supply that was like extremely huge it just opened and it was like one of the largest beauty supplies i don't know if they said in houston or just in general but it was very very very, very big uh, and so i called them and i was like hey you know do you guys because it was like 50 minutes off my house and i was like not taking that ride if they don't even got it so i caught it and it was like yes we have it it's actually on sale um i was originally going to get three bundles because the girls were saying you need three bundles or maybe even four but i was like i'm gonna get three bundles okay i'm gonna get three bundles and so when i called her she's like they're on sale we're doing the buy two get one free so i'm like I know on TikTok, I saw a lot of girlies get like the bundle packs, but they didn't have those packs anymore. They only had these separate bundles. Um, but what the lady had told me and what I saw, the bundle packs, they look for one, shorter than the, the real length. And for two, they look kind of thin based off the bundles that I received. Originally, I wanted the 18, 20, 22, or something along there. The only thing we have in straight um, is 20, 22, 24. Then we have Body Wave. We have it in basically all of them. I don't know. I just kind of wanted something low maintenance, but also give a bust down. And I knew if I got the Body Wave, I would have to be flat on in it a lot. It might be a little bit more frizzy. Um, so I just went with the straight natural state. I've had my fair share of raw bundles. I've had my share of like high quality wigs, you know, TikTok wigs, glueless wigs, like I felt a, enough bundles to, you know, compare. I have never felt any hair this soft, especially straight out the pack, soft. Like I rub my fingers through here just to like feel smoothness. Like, I don't know, it's so soft. And like the luster is amazing. Like it gives the shine, okay? And I absolutely love that. I love the luster and the softness of it. That's the initial thing that sold me to buy these bundles. And of course that it was on sale. This is a quick weave. Um, I've had it in for about six days, like tomorrow will be a week. Um, but I, I wanted to do this review then, like this one week review, because all the girls that were talking down on it basically said after like two days, five days, you know, next day type stuff that it was not giving the same results. And so I'm like day six, like, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna give all of the points that I feel like describe this hair, describe the per like the type of person that needs this hair, and the type of people that don't need this hair, um, the type of things that work with this hair, the type of things that don't work with this hair, because I think those are the key factors that people that are either agreeing with it or disagreeing with it being good hair, they're leaving out. That's the gist of what I want to kind of cover today, because I've basically figured that out in two days three days and kind of just went with that the first thing is this hair in its natural state without product without any shine agencies or oil or anything like that operates perfectly it's going to give the shine it's going to give the body it's going to give you know it's not going to give stiff it's not going to give oily it's not going to give um matted 
Okay, so that's just on its natural state. Now, where I think a lot of people go wrong with this hair is initially they want to add, you know, these silking products like they would do for <clears throat> a silk press or for their raw natural um, bundle. I don't think that this is that type of hair. This hair is to be put in and rocked like literally put it in a rock. It's kind of one of those hairs where less is more. So if you're a person that likes to experiment and do a lot of different things with your hair, like you want to curl it, you want to hairspray, you want to do a lot with it, I feel like you're going to kind of kill the efficiency of the hair. Like I just feel like I personally haven't curled it yet, but I did do a flexi ride at night and I love the way the curls hold. Like they hold. I go to a point where I wanted it back straight, but I didn't want to flat on it. And the curls were still like giving a little bit of like curl. And so I'm like, okay, so it holds a curl. And that was with no heat, like that's flexi rod. So I'm gonna do, I really haven't been anywhere in these six days, so it wasn't a need to curl my hair, but I will come back with like, okay, styling type um, review. But as far as like just maintaining and it's like the quality of the hair, I think it's a less is more type thing. Because honestly, since I've been stopped, I haven't done anything, I haven't added any more heat. I really had to do much, but brush my hair, honestly, like, Brush it and it's good to go. So if you're a low maintenance person that just want a bust down and want some hair that's gonna, you know, be affordable, not gonna take much, like you get up and go. Like I put a hair scarf on, put my, I braid my hair or I flexi ride it, put it in my bonnet and I'm gone. I mean, I take that all that off and then I go. So it's not a, a hair that you're gonna have to keep touching up, which I, I'm so thankful for that. Like I'm not trying to be trying to get bone straight every day when, I, that's what I want like I want to be able to take my bonnet off and I got bone straight or I got you know good hair results that I can just go out the door like I have not done anything in six days and I could honestly go even longer without doing anything only thing I've been really doing is trying to lay my edges and blend my leave out and I haven't even done that because my leave out is brown so as far as the quality of the hair it's very low maintenance it gives results I know from just this week that it's gonna last me a while. Like I'm probably gonna have this in the whole month and then come back with another review. But like shedding, I haven't seen any shedding. I shed more of my leave out than this hair. Like I have not seen any shedding with this hair. Now, as far as getting it wet, I got rained on the very next day after I put it in and the hair literally felt like my hair when it got wet like it seemed like it was damp but it didn't give like wet synthetic wig wig it, it really operated like human hair like any other bundles that i've had or wig that i've had and i didn't flat on it so i, I just it was wet it air dried i came home i didn't really do nothing but brush it there it is i don't know i just feel like the girlies that didn't like it they either go out all the time and want like these curls they just kind of want to experiment a lot or do a lot of different styles which is great i have those moments where that's what i want to do with my hair and it's not their hair from my understanding it's not their hair you're trying to curl and do this it can it can but i think the best method to do all of those things are heat free options velcro um rollers flexi rods i think just overheating this hair like it's the premium bundles for 800 dollars versus beauty supply bundles for 100 it's just not going to give that but that doesn't make it a bad quality of hair it just makes it a good quality of hair for 100 dollars. so i feel like um i'm actually going to start doing videos on that i'm going to actually experiment i'm going to put the experiment behind this claim because honestly it's just a claim right now because i haven't tried it but that's just my assumption just based off the first interaction with the hair um so i'll do that i might do that i have to go to <clears throat> an event this weekend so i will film me doing i don't know write in the comments if y'all want to heat if y'all feel like y'all want to see more of like heat options i'm not a heat girl i don't like adding heat all the time because i really don't know how to operate those like curling rods little curling irons i get those first two good curls and i can't get them again 
I can't get them again. Like that's just the honesty of it. So I always do flexi rods or anything like that, just because it's a heedless option. Like I don't know, that's just me. But I will give you girlies what you want. <clears throat> And if y'all want me to try actually trying to do like a bombshell curl type of tutorial, I can do that. And we both can figure out what this hair really has to offer. But yeah, I just know low maintenance is the way to go. I'm a very busy girl and I love it. It gave me bone straight, luster, shine. If y'all go to my channel, when I installed this, I have a video of me installing it. It's on the vlog because I was just so excited to try it that... I did not <laughs> record me molding my cap and I just like, who gonna watch a quick weave tutorial and you already have a quick weave. So I just put it on the end of one of my vlogs. I'll put it in the cards, but I was just so excited to try this hair that I just put it on. And when I did, I was a little sick. <laughs> my allergies were not playing with me. Like I could, I was sniffing the whole video. So if there was a smell, <laughs> I would not know, but I haven't experienced this smell ever since. And I haven't watched these bundles yet, so I feel like the smell should still be on there. But yeah, I haven't smelled anything. I have nothing but good things to say. Um, I haven't experienced much with it, but it's giving what I wanted. I don't know about y'all, but for the price that I paid, oh, I didn't, I didn't talk about the pricing. With all three of them being one by one, by one, get one free, I paid $170. Not mad at that. Not mad. I got three long bust down bundles. Okay. 2022, 20, 24 for one cent. Um, I don't really know if that's the general price that other people pay, but I paid more money for less quality of hair. So I was like, I'm getting it. Um, and I did. So 170. I know there were some bundles prices that were a little cheaper i saw one that was like 14 16 18 and 16 18 20 that was like 130 and stuff like that but like i said the bundles just looked a little skimp to me they did they looked a little skimped in them packets like them packs were looking a little a little empty um and for 40 extra dollars for longer hair really longer hair 20 24 uh 22 20 22 24 for only $40 more I ain't tripping I ain't tripping on it and I think it was probably that price because they did the sale because you know when they do a sale they always make it more expensive so you think it's a sale but for 170 I can't complain that's pretty much it I don't want this video to be too long I just kind of want to come in and give my input on pink lemon bundles because I can't complain it's very low maintenance I get up and go last minute plans don't freak me out anymore because I'm set like I am set I'll show y'all the back because I didn't show y'all but that is the end of this review um i wanted to keep it very casual you know what i'm saying real talk and just let y'all know you know my intake on pink lemon bundles and i'll say run don't walk run don't walk because now the girlies are saying they they ain't it so maybe the price is going down and maybe they're going to be on shelves so disregard everything i said the bundles are trash they're trash they are trash don't go get them. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Thank y'all for watching. I um, hope this helped you guys that are on the fence about it really get some insight. But hey, it's all about what you're looking for in your hair. If you want to be experimental, I don't think these are for you. But if you want low maintenance and just some high quality looking hair for an affordable price that you ain't got to add a bunch of products to get and do a bunch of flat ironing to get, yeah, that'll be it. Until next time. Be blessed. It's not what I say, it's what I'm doing and how I'm doing it.